everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We start by heading west to Phoenix, Arizona, where three of the Race Face Drivers were in action over the weekend. Anthony Alfredo was at Phoenix Raceway for the Instacart 500 and let's just say he did not have the race results he was hoping for. Let's get a post-race update directly from Anthony. It's really frustrating to be making this post-race video for you all when the race is still going on in the background. Unfortunately, our day ended early in stage two. We started the race off and got a little bit of left rear damage and had a tire rub, so we're just trying to ride it out till the competition caution, and they got some right rear damage on the last lap of, of that part of the st first stage uh, before that competition caution came out. That affected our handling tremendously. The guys on pit road did a great job trying to fix the damage so that we could just ride it out and make the most of the day. We knew we were gonna have a, have an ill-handling race car and we just had to make the most of it. Uh, but unfortunately we got absolutely destroyed racing around 30th or 31st. I don't even know where. We were just trying to ride the day out and, and see what we could salvage. Uh, so it's a shame to have a killed race car uh, you know, for, for literally no reason. So I hate that for everyone at Front Row Motorsports and uh, just thankful to have MDS trucking on board. Hopefully we can uh, have them on another race and make them proud, but I'm looking forward to Atlanta. We'll just try to rebuild and go have a better run there. Thank you guys. That has to be frustrating. Up next for Anthony, this weekend at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Jesse Love was also at Phoenix Raceway for a combined Arca Menard Series East and West race that saw 30 plus cars take the green flag. This was the first time this year that the West Series took to the track and the beginning of Jesse's 2021 ARCA West Championship defense with Bill McAnally Racing. Jesse started 11th due to qualifying being rained out and the field was set by practice speed. Jesse suffered a tire puncture early but rebounded to finish sixth overall but left Phoenix second in points for the West Series. Jesse then caught a plane and headed to Charlotte Motor Speedway for the final three races in the INEX Winter Heat Series. When it was all said and done, Jesse wrapped up the Winter Heat Pro Class Championship. Up next for Jesse, TC America at Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas, March 30th through May 2nd. Joey East made his third ARCA start of the year, but his first ARCA West Series start. Joey started in the 12th position again due to qualifying being rained out. Joey had a fast Nate Clower Ford car, but was penalized two laps for making a questionable pit stop because of a flat rear tire. I'm not sure about that call. Joey continued to show a tremendous amount of speed throughout the race, but could not overcome that penalty, finishing in the 16th position. Up next for Joey, Arkham Menard Series West on the road course at Sonoma Raceway on June 5th. Caden Honeycutt made the trip from Texas to Hickory Motor Speedway for twin 40 lap features in preparation for this weekend's Solid Rock Carriers Car Tour event. In race one, Caden started fourth and drove his Justin Johnson racing entry to the front and parked it in victory lane. In race number two, Caden started ninth with the Yernbert and quickly made his way inside the top three and eventually to the lead and held on to secure win number two in one night. Let's listen in on the post-race interview by Race22.com. Coming down here, first time at Hickory, two races, two wins. Yeah, really good confidence going next weekend. Um, just showing how much we can just charge the field like that, you know. We, and we got cars through guys here too, yeah. so it's like, yeah, we just got we got really good speed, and you know we're gonna go back, fix it all up, um, probably adjust on a few things that we're gonna try next weekend. Probably come back here on Thursday or Friday. Um, anyway, I just it's just awesome. Okay? Mm -hmm. My dad raced here back in the day, and I really wish he was here with me tonight. Um, what do you race? Chariots? He raced Allison Legacy cars. <laughs> Sweet! I, mean, yeah. I remember those cars. Absolutely. Those are a blast to drive. They ran 200 lap features here back in the day. Yep. Um, but yeah, I really wish he's here. My family appreciate their support so much. Um, I couldn't do it without them. All my sponsors, uh, FOJ, Rod Wortham at Raceface, my mom and dad, um, Greg Harper, 
up in Montana. Thank him for his sponsorship this year. Funky Monkey, Kevin Williams, Phil Strayers. Thank y'all very much. I forgot y'all last video. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just I'm just so excited, man. It's two wins and a late model. It's been a while since I've went on an asphalt track, so got a lot more to come. Like I told you earlier, That's got a right. lot more to come. So we're gonna come back next weekend and hopefully pull off a three for three here. There you go. And I believe I'm telling you, you want to talk about car control? It's a young man raced on some dirt and won a lot of racing. You replaced modifieds and all that kind of crazy stuff, didn't you, on, on dirt? Uh, it's sport mods and uh, crate dirt late models, okay. 604s. So, so car control is incredible. Watch this young man. Where can somebody buy your T-shirts? Where can they learn more about you? Go to CadenHoneycutWebsite.com. Um, and my Facebook is Caden Honeycutt Racing. Follow me on my personal page. I'll accept your request. Um, just DM me if you have any questions on Facebook, on Instagram, it's Caden Honeycutt underscore 37. Um, I have it, started a new Twitter, it's at Caden Honeycutt 10. Um, that's about all the socials I got. I'm not really much of a Twitter person, but I'm working into it. I'm getting better at it. Um, but follow me on all socials at Caden Honeycutt 10. And uh, I'll see you at Hickory next weekend. We're all in for a show. That's right. He'll be here. He'll be in this bright orange number four. Be looking for him. Be looking towards the front because that's where I think he'll be. Up next for Caden, this weekend, round two of the Cars Tour at Hickory Motor Speedway. Jake Bowman pulled double duty at the new Stockton 99 Speedway on Saturday. Jake took the checkers, winning the Legend Car race, finished sixth in his Pro Late Model Heat race, and was running fourth in the SRL Pro Late Model feature before an incident on lap 42 ended his day early. Up next for Jake, back in the legend car this weekend at Havasu 95 Speedway. Brody Moore made his first start of the year in the 5150 Junior Late Model Series at Madera Speedway in his number 78 Charlie Wilson Prepared Late Model, where he qualified seventh, moved into the top five on lap 39, and was involved in an exciting green-white checker finish and brought home a third place finish. Congratulations, Brody, on your first podium finish of the year. Let's hear from Brody in Winter Circle. Team that had a lot of trials and tribulations last year, Brody Moore comes home in third. And a constant theme among all of you, what does this mean to you guys to be on the podium tonight? It means everything. I mean, the um, Wilson Motors first repaired number 78, uh, 5150 car was just perfect this week. Um, I couldn't, I have to thank all my sponsors, Valley Insurance Plan, Assure Interest Managers, um, MGF Trucking and their parent company, My Go Flight, Race Face, Advancement, and Friends of Jacqueline. I couldn't do it without them. It was just an amazing weekend out here. We noticed you guys gave a lot of give and take out there uh, in those battles. How challenging was that to find the fine line there? It was definitely a challenge. I mean, I wouldn't want to be racing against anybody else here, but it was just an amazing night. It was a big night for this team out of Colorado. Third place for Brody Moore here at Madera. Up next for Brody, round two of the Junior Late Model Series on April 3rd. Other drivers seeing action this weekend include Connor Mozak in the Trans Am TA2 Series at Charlotte Motor Speedway on Saturday and Sunday. Joe Valento will be returning to the Cars Tour at Hickory Motor Speedway on Saturday, and Carter Whalen will compete in round two of the Dixie Shootout at the Northern Georgia Quarter Midget Association Complex in Cummings, Georgia on Saturday. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. And as always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.